Hello, this is Master Luke Che. <laughs> Long time no see. Today we will talk about uh, mainly the Qigong, what the Jinlong Qigong, and then some philosophy of Tao Te Ching. But anyway, uh, today I want to focus on a very basic uh, of the Qi Liao or Jinlong Qigong is the push and pull. So it's a very simple movement. So how to bring the the chi to your fingers, you know, fingers. And it's very, <laughs> a lot of people have uh, high blood pressure and and those old people's uh, illness or because they don't bring the chi to your fingers, the fingers. So if you are young right now, you need to start to bring it to create or to learn the technique so that when you're getting old, you can bring the chi to your fingers. If you already been doing that and you not been doing correctly, it's not too late. You start to doing it. The first of all, the basics of the push and pull is basically how to bring the, the chi to circulation to your fingertips. <laughs> and now, and then our body is made up of the joints. So the first thing you need to work on is your shoulder, uh, the shoulder. So this is create a circle. And then the elbow is a circle. Elbow, elbow is a circle. Now a lot of people just push the foot and ignore the elbow. The elbow, elbow is also a joint. <laughs> and then of course your wrist. The wrist <laughs> and then the, the knuckles. So that's how you, you bring the chi to your fingertips. And then the push and pull. Now this is fundamental. Then when you get a little bit better, the shoulder brace in between them. This is the power point here. The power point. You need to move that. <laughs> a lot of students, when they come to China some time ago, they, they said, well, I move everything except that place in between. So you need to focus on it. You need to focus, you turn it. So <laughs> and then if you pay attention to your own, and then you said, well, assume, you need to assume that it's not moving. If you say, I am moving, then <laughs> you'll never learn. You just assume that you are not moving that part and then deliberately using your mind to, <laughs> to move it. And then one day you suddenly, so uh, it's moved, it can be moved. And then from there you turn your shoulder, elbow and wrist together, uh, together. Now, why are we doing that? Uh, the by way. The, the, the head or your uh, tip of your head, okay, and the tongue. So the whole thing is strict. You, you cannot drop it. So <laughs> a lot of Jin Long Qigong practitioners, they say, right, raise your head. It, it's the wrong thing to do. You need to very relax. And then this one is flat. It's like ding, ten little, you touch a high sc uh, sky. So it's not drop. It is right there. And then from Bai Wei to Wei Yin to the, the growing uh, between this one straight line. So <laughs> it's a straight line, really. <laughs> Physically a straight line and also mentally. And of course, if you, your body is, <laughs> is crooked or some illness, that is physically hard for you to achieve top of the head and then between your growing there, you know, the, the Wei Yin, the straight line. But however, in your mind, you think it's straight line. But if you are healthy and your body in good shape, you need to work on it until actually, physically become straight line. So when you uh, put on the back of the wall, then it's straight, all right? So the, the, the head, so when we're doing this, the head, the head also bring it back because when you're doing this, the tongue also move. When your tongue moves, your back moves, the, the back muscle moves, the whole thing moves. And then uh, your eyes open, the whole thing is very spiritual. So the whole thing is happy. So when you push and pull, it's not, <laughs> not deeply in meditation and you forget outside, but you need to bring it out. Right? Bring it out to your face, to your, your nose, to your eyes, the whole thing, and then bring it out. Now, there's the upper body, and, from, and then we think the, the lower body now, the, the feet, 
the feet. The feet is just like your hands. When you push and pull, your feet actually pop and push, pop and push. It's the same thing. You, you push your feet, one feet to another, to, to flat it on the ground and cupping. The feet is cup and then your way in, uh, the coccyx, you turn. Coccyx turn. But all the power from the Dantian, between Neifeng and Mingmen there, but Dantian, to push and pull, to so Yong Yong Dantian pull. And then the whole thing, it's, it's just like a train reaction to push, pull. And then of course, relief, absorb. So the breath comes in. The breath controls you. And then of course, the mind controls the breath. So this is open. Now, there's two sides. One is that you total relax. Let you be one of the universe. Then this is just, just very relaxing. However you remember, too relaxing, sometimes you collapse. So you must need the power. The power is from open and then absorb, you turn inside. You really turn and create the power. And then when you, uh, the power to your fingers, then your chi and blood can go through. If you don't have the power flushing through your body, then the illness just become, the body becomes stagnant. The illness is still there. But when you're doing this, and this wonderful sensation. So if you have not using the six direction tape, start to using it because it's release absorb is the fundamental of the whole thing. All right, thank you so much. I love you from Yangshou.